want to start this series of videos about simplifying the process of creating good art by talking to you about a subject that doesn't get nearly enough attention from beginning artists. And that topic is edges. Now in this video, I'm going to show you why they are very important to the success or failure of your art and how you can use them to create more exciting art. But first, before I do that, let's answer the question, what are edges? Now edges are the boundaries that you create between two or more colors or tones. Now if there's a lot of contrast between the colors or tones, we call that a hard edge, like in my watercolor here. If you notice the cook on the right, his arm and his right shoulder create a very strong, a very hard edge. The man to his left, his edges are much less contrasty. Now if there is not a lot of contrast between the colors and tones, we call that a soft edge. And another example is in the background of this painting. The people I'm suggesting in the background are not as important and their edges are only suggested. They're not, they're very soft. Now, if an edge is visible in one area and then fades out or disappears and then reappears, we call that a lost and found edge, like in this drawing of mine and the man. You can see his back is pretty apparent, but then it sort of disappears into the shadow on the floor and then it reappears at his hip and leg. Or his shoulder, you see that his shoulder, his right shoulder goes down, it disappears into the tone. Then you pick up the highlights on his forearm, but then at his wrist, it sort of disappears again and you pick up highlights on his hand. Lost and found edges. Now you may be thinking, what's so important about edges? Why should I even care about them? Well, I'm going to give you three good reasons why edges are important. One reason edges are important is they help you create a visual interest or excitement in your art. Edges are one of the five crucial elements of good art, along with your idea, drawing, color values, and design. And all five elements are linked. Each one depends on the others in order to create success. And if you think of creating good art like you would if you were building your own house, imagine this. How successful do you think your house project would be if you didn't put in all the crucial elements like walls or electricity or plumbing? What do you think your friends or family would say if your house was missing a few walls or had no lights? Well, it's the same thing with creating good art. You need all five elements of art working together to produce a successful result. And getting all five elements working together to produce a successful result is easier than you may think. In fact, that's what I want to show you in this series of videos. Now the second reason edges are important is this. I'm assuming you want to be able to create the best art, the most exciting art that you are capable of. Well, in order to create exciting art, you need to develop your talent. And you develop your talent by learning how to use all five elements of good art, including edges. Now, doing that not only develops your talent, it also develops your creativity, which leads to creating even more exciting art. This is how you grow and develop as an artist. If you don't learn to use all five crucial elements, including edges, you make it very hard to grow beyond the beginner stage. The third reason edges are important is that consciously deciding the kind of edges to use in your art and where to use them is one of the stepping stones to developing your own style. When you gradually evolve your own way of working, people begin to recognize your work as coming from you and you alone. So, how do you use edges to create exciting art? And how do you simplify the process? 
One very simple way to use edges is to use them to tell someone who looks at your work what things are more important in that art and what things are less important. Now take my painting here of this woman. Hard edges attract your eye, so you can use hard edges to say to the viewer, these areas are important, like I did here in this painting. I used a very hard edge in this woman's skirt to attract your eyes and tell you she's the star of my picture. Now what I mean by a very hard edge is there's a lot of contrast between the light tone of her skirt and the dark shadow behind her. That strong contrast attracts your eyes. Now you should also notice that the edge of her skirt is the hardest edge in the whole painting. But I want you to also notice that I didn't make her entire outline a hard edge. Some edges are soft, some areas of her skirt and blouse actually fade off into the shadows. Remember, I said that that is called a lost and found edge. It's when you use a combination of all three kinds of edges, hard, soft, and lost and found, that your work starts becoming more exciting. Human eyes love variety, so learn to provide it with edges. Now I'll see you next week with another video about how to simplify this process of creating exciting art.